We're going to make dinner. It's pouring rain. It stopped right now, but we are stuck with the barbecue. But we're going to try our chowder. So I've got my creamy potato soup from Shore Lunch here. We really like this. It's got chunks of potato in it. Really tastes a little bit like homemade if you let it cook enough and rehydrate enough. I got a couple of rainbow trout fillets that we're going to cook up on the grill in our pans and make them nice and yummy and stick them in the potato soup. We've got some crab meat, some cocktail shrimp. We're going to season up our trout with salt and pepper. We've got a few little accessories here. We've got a knife, pot lifter, ladle, spoon from Muskrat Jim. I've got my cooking pot. I've got two frying pans, one aluminum, one cast iron, a little bit of oil, and the barbecue is heating up. So we're going to try the chowder that we didn't get made next weekend, last weekend, and we're going to see. We got our pan on, a little oil. Huh? <laughs> there we go. We get those guys going. We got some water boiling. We're going to get our soup cooking, and then we'll start making our chowder. Our fish is frying. My spatula is in the kitchen. I used it at lunch. Not sticking to the pans. Be good. All right, fish is frying. We're gonna add a cob of corn on here because we want corn in our chowder. And we're also gonna add onion to our trout because we want trout onion in our chowder. So we're cooking all these little bits first while our water is boiling for our soup. And then we'll let these cool down and we'll add them to it later. Ready to go in the pool. We have our cocktail shrimp. We have our crab meat. And we have our potato soup. Barbecue is at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. 275 Celsius. I've got fish cooking. This guy's done. This guy's almost done. Our corn is roasting. And our water is boiling. So, we can take our potato soup. Take it off the top. Then we have to whisk it in. So what I do is pour in a little bit. This is easier with two hands when I'm not using the camera and just use a fork to get it in there. The point of whisking is so you don't get any lumps. So you put it in slowly. Don't get lumps. So I'm going to go and add this in. Get it all our potato soup is whisked into the water and you can see there's big chunks of potato in here that rehydrate. It's really yummy. So we got to cook this for 20 minutes and then the potato soup will be ready. And we're going to add, when it's near the end, we're going to add the fish and the shellfish. And the corn. A wooden spoon. That's not a wooden spoon. You can try though. As close as well, how am I going to put it on here to stop the, my pot from boiling over? If you put a wooden spoon across your pot like that, it will stop it from boiling over. And I don't know what the magic is, but it really works. We're just, we're just going to have to keep coming back here and checking this. You know what I have? I have my wooden spoon from Muskrat Gym. Let's put this on here and see if it can not catch on fire and actually prevent this from boiling over when I close this. Let's see what kind of disaster we end up. It is way too hot to close the lid on this spoon and let the paracord survive. It's going to catch on fire. So I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to tend it and I'm going to stir it and make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. You can see how thick that's getting. It's so good. And we're going to add this fish and we're going to add this crab and we're going to add the shrimp, and we're going to have us a nice chowder. We're going to put in some of this corn. All the corn in the cob is really good as is. Mm. 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 This meal is trying not to let this boil over. I need a bigger pot. But you can see in there, there's nice big chunks of hearty potato. It really tastes like homemade, except it's extra salty. Hopefully once we get the fish and the corn in there, it won't be so salty. We've taken our least cooked trout fillet, which is in the aluminum pan. The cast iron pan cooks much faster. And we've added it to our 
potato soup and we're going to stir it in there. And we're going to add our can of crab and our can of shrimp and hope that we don't actually overflow the pan. Oh, it's going to be pretty darn close. And we're going to give a little stir. And let that chowder simmer now for another 10 minutes or so. We're going to add the corn and then we're ready to eat. Did you guys eat your corn on the cob? Did you have your chowder already? Was it good? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm going to put this corn in the chowder and then we are ready to eat. Okay? All right. Wow, it's pouring out there. Holy cow. Glad we're not in a tent. Here is our chowder. We're bubbling. We're about 20 minutes in or so, and it should be just about ready. Potatoes, trout, shrimp and crab and I'm going to add now some fresh corn really carefully stir that in and then it's time for us to eat mm -mm -mm. number one chowder shrimp crab trout corn and potatoes and I think because we're at Camp Nana we're gonna give the first bowl to Nana, who's loving her corn, I hope. Is it really good? It may have mostly come out of a bag or in a can, but that's really yummy. Tell me that doesn't look like homemade chowder. Yum. Mm -hmm. The most important part, didn't we? Bacon! The bacon! It's already cooked, so I didn't have to cook it, and I completely forgot it. So we're going to take it, and we're going to crumble it up, and we're going to add it. So the verdict is in. Thank you. It's too salty. Bacon makes it better, but it's too salty. This shore lunch potato soup is really salty. It'd be great if you were up portaging or hiking all day, really being active and working up a sweat, but for now, too salty, but really good. More bacon. You want more bacon? I want one. Have more bacon.